Hello guys, Regilio Varkeologist. Today, we're going to do the short unboxing and also reviewing the Cryerig C5 and C5 Copper Air Coolers. Let's do the unboxing. Inside the box, you will find the accessory pack that contains the screws, stand-ups, the Intel backplate, and the thermal plates, the installation manual, and lastly, the Cryorig C5 air cooler itself. Let's go to the specifications and features. The Cryorig C5 air cooler variants have dimensions of 97 by 97 by 54.9 millimeters. Since the C5 variants are almost the same but have different maximum TDP like 165 and 180, I'll just focus on one variant. The fan is an ARGB fan with a Cryorig logo at the center. The LED lights up from the center and is diffused throughout the fan blades. It has a maximum speed of 3200 RPM and a maximum airflow of 51.81 CFM, which makes it loud at full speeds. The fan has an open work logo on the side to showcase the vibrant ARGB lighting. Cryorig is using a proprietary fan mounting for this cooler, so you can change the fan. The fan can be controlled using the 4-pin male or female fan cable for the speed and the 3-pin male or female ARGB cable for the lighting. There's a Cryorig text carved at the heatsink of the cooler, which can be found on both sides. Depending on the variant, the C5 can have an all-nickel-plated or all-copper-plated vapor chamber cold plate. Cryory claim it will help to optimize heat transfer that will ensure stability under heavy loads. Let's install the air coolers. Here are my final thoughts. The Cryorig C5 and C5 Copper marks the return of Cryorig's low-profile coolers. And while their latest offering isn't their first attempt in the category, it is the first under their new management. The build quality is solid and the compact footprint makes it natural fit for tight ITX builds. Performance-wise, it lands where you expect, even with the addition of a vapor chamber cold plate. It's an interesting direction. And as far as I know, this is the first low-profile air cooler to use the technology. That said, it still has plenty of room for refinement. There are a couple of drawbacks that stood out to me. First, the use of proprietary fan is risky. If it breaks, you either need a replacement directly from prior rig or you're left with an unusable cooler. I'm also not a fan of the blue rubber pads of the C5. They clash with most built things. On top of that, the plastic in the back plate feels out of place on a cooler in this class. Overall, 
the Cryorig C5 and C5 Copper bring fresh ideas into the low-profile space. They are not perfect, but they show that Cryorig is willing to experiment. With some tweaks, especially in fan design and mounting hardware, this line could become a strong option for SFF and ITX builders looking for both performance and style. You can buy the Cryorig C5 for around $55 or 3,133 pesos and the Cryorig C5 Copper for around $70 or 3,990 pesos at your nearest Cryorig affiliated online and physical stores. I hope this video is informational for you. For more videos, click on the subscribe button and follow my Facebook page and see you in the next video.